Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be going over router chains in Langchain and walking through kind of how it works under the hood at a high level and talking about potential use cases that you could have for it. Um, so let's just get right into it. Um, so before we get into the code, this is just a very simple outline of what's going on uh, to my estimation. Uh, essentially, we have the multi-prompt chain and an LLM router chain that is being used here. And there will be, there could be more than two prompts here. This is just for uh, demonstration purposes. This should probably say A so you aren't confused. So the user is going to input something to the multi-prompt chain. It's going to be passed to our LLM router chain. And this chain has a prompt that is going to tell it, hey, here's a user input. Here's a list of two prompts and like what they're good for and their chains. Decide which uh, which of these prompts should be used based on the user input and then route the query to that chain and then let's get the response. And so let's say, oh, we think this is going to be better with prompt A, we'll route it to this chain and then we get our response. So that is it in a nutshell. And without further ado, we can hop into the code. Uh, right now I'm pip installing the requirements, which are just gonna be uh, Langchain, OpenAI, TikToken, uh, Python.env, just because I don't want to show my API key uh, during the video. So that's why we're doing that. Next, I am, yep, importing OS and .env, loading the OpenAI API key from our environment. And then we're going to be importing a couple things. We're going to be importing the multi prompt chain, uh, the OpenAI model wrapper, conversation chain. LLM chain and prompt template. So once we're done here, um, we're going to look at our prompts. So I thought it'd be kind of funny uh, just for the video to have good cop, bad cop, just so you could really see the difference. Um, and we can maybe talk about a potential use case. You can imagine just, you know, you have an online game um, where users can inter interact with different players and based on what the user says, the player can react in different ways now. So maybe I'm in GTA, whatever, seven, I don't know which one they're on. And you have some cop that's powered by a, a router a, a router chain on the back end and you're super nice to him and he's 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 a good cop. He's saying, hey, uh, you know, I really understand that you want this car, but we can't have this. How about we do something else instead versus that cop that's like, listen here, you know, mother, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you good uh, kind of thing. So That'd be kind of funny. So let's read the prompt. Good cop. You are very smart and understanding police detective. You are great at empathizing with people and understanding their deep, their deeper psycho psychology. You prefer to work calmly with, uh, with people to get what you want. When you don't know the answer to a question, you admit you that you don't know. Here's a message to you from the person you were talking to. Person. Input. Good. Then I say good cop would say colon. Uh, so now let's move on to the bad cop prompt. You are a very skilled police officer and a hard ass on people. You choose to play the bad cop role when trying to get info because you believe, let's just say believe, come on. We gotta learn how to spell here. Um, because you believe in intimidation, intimidation as the best way to get information. You get frustrated when people are questioning, you are questioning are being difficult. Here's a message from the person you are talking to, person input, then bad cop would say. And now we get to the prompt infos array. So what is the prompt infos array? Essentially just their objects of the name of the prompt and the description and then the templates. So let's get into this. Yes. Okay. So destination chains. So where are these chains going? Let's find out. We're going to iterate through the prompt infos array. We're going to get the name, the prompt template, the prompt, and we're instantiating a chain. So for each of those prompts that we have in that array, those prompt info objects, we're going to be instantiating a chain dedicated, uh, for that, for that dedicated prompt and putting these all into the destination chains mapping. Next, we're getting a default chain, which will be just conversation chain. And now we're getting to the LLM router chain. So this is how it decides, you know, this is where we're gonna decide like which prompt should we, uh, or yeah, which prompt should we pass this to based on the user input. So. We're going to import the LLM router chain and the router output parser, and we're also going to be importing the multi-prompt router template. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to show it, but I'm going to just because I think it's actually pretty important. 
So let's see. Okay. Right here. Let's go find it. Jeez. Let me send me a new, new laptop. Okay. This is the template that is being uh, used in the LLM router chain by default. So given a raw text input to a language model, select the model prompt best suited for the input. You will be given a list name of available prompts. So this is where we're like putting in, see how it's saying like destination inputs and we're going to be saying here the candidate prompts and those will be the destination, uh, the destinations that we pass into as like a huge, huge string that you'll see in a second and then the user input. So that's kind of what, no, that's not kind of, that is what the prompt is. So go check it out if you're interested. You could probably just modify it and you know, if you want something different. But anyways, now we're going to be getting the destinations like I was just mentioning in that in that prompt. So destinations, we are just doing a comprehension list of the prompt infos again. Uh, this time we're having like the name and the description. And then we're getting the destination string, which is going to join them together into a long string. And then we're getting our router prompt template from this and we're formatting it to have this be the destination. So the destination string is going to be that right there. So run this, run this, and also I printed it out just so you can see. Candidate prompts, good comp. Good for working with people in a calm way to get things out of them. I misspelled things. I think it's fine for now. And then bad cop is good for when intimidating tactics are appropriate for searing. Someone's being hostile. Over. Gotcha. Okay, so now we're getting to the multi prompt chain. And this is where we're building it all together. So multi prompt chain is going to take the router chain, the destination chains, the default chain, and we're setting very both to true so you can see what's going on. I believe the default chain is just there. So in case there's no, you know, like it's like, oh, like this prompt doesn't work, this prompt's not really relevant. I guess I should just default to. A regular uh, a regular chain with a regular prompt so that's what we're doing there and uh, we're going to just instantiate that and now I'm going to be showing you you can see I already did it but I'm gonna first be saying something to kind of trigger the 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 bad cops so I'm like I'm not telling you what I did go stuff it like, yeah um, but in all seriousness you know please do a pretty pretty good job most of the time so you know it's, all right, let's see. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. I want to know everything and I'm not going to accept any excuses. You either tell me now or you'll face the consequences. So what do you have to say for yourself? Man, you have a hard bargain. Let's see what your friend says. So now I'm going to say, please don't make me tell you. I'm so stressed. Oh no, poor me. Um, yeah, so let's see. All right, and it's saying, oh, okay, one note. Notice how it says, the input says, I'm feeling very stressed right now, can you please help me? But I said, please don't make me tell you I'm so stressed. Why is the input different? That is just a small nuance I want to point out. It says, you may also revise the original input if you think that revising it will ultimately lead to a better response from the language model. So if you were gonna make like a custom multi-prompt chain, uh, like with a, a custom prompt, honestly, maybe taking that out would be nice. Because, I don't know, this could be hurtful or helpful depending on, um, you know, the situation, which I can't even really compare to situations where one, where this would be needed and wouldn't be needed. So, just wanted to call it out though. But anyways, let's see what it said. I understand how stressful the situation is for you. Let's take a few deep breaths together and talk it through. I'm here to help you. And that was a good cop. So, you can see this is a very cool kind of tool that you can easily put together if you are doing customer support per, perhaps you know maybe you have different prompts for you know uh, returns versus F like frequently asked questions versus like yada yada and that's super important because that's gonna be relevant to the context of the conversation so customer services one I already talked about the game one I think that's a very cool idea I don't know you know if anyone's doing that um, so yeah, I would say that. And oh, one more, you could probably do like your personal board of advisors and then just say, like, let's say you have somebody that's like you, you're 
your hero in the financial realm and then you're a hero in the fitness realm and you have a chat by you're like hey like yada 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 like i have a question about my lifts and it's like okay let's send it to this prompt that says like you are so and so person uh here's information about the person here's the question answer the question and do the same so you could have like a mega chat bot of all your of all your advisors it'd be super light though like if it was just prompts saying like who they were because you couldn't fill it up too much but i think it'd still be kind of cool and yeah, that is it for today. Um, smash the like button. Share it with your friends if you think this would help them. Uh, give me hate comments, uh, like comments, and just like regular comments in that order. Um, and then yeah, just subscribe. Subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And there's no outro, so uh, goodbye.